the meat is so tender it is literally just falling off the bone. Hi everyone, it's Christina with Super Tasty Bites and welcome to my little kitchen. Today's quick and easy recipe is going to be curried lamb shanks, so let's get started. For this recipe, you'll need at least two to three lamb shanks. Now the shank of a lamb comes bone in and it's a much tougher cut of meat, which means you're gonna need to cook it on low heat for at least four to five hours to get it nice and tender. Now if the lamb has a little bit of a gamey smell to it, just rinse them off in water, pat them dry with a clean paper towel. Before we put them in the slow cooker, we're gonna need to brown them in a pan. So go ahead and apply a nice amount of salt and pepper first. Get your pan nice and hot and add about a tablespoon of olive oil and then place the lamb into the pan. Shanks are an odd shaped piece of meat which means you might have to move them around with some tongs and hold them in place so you get even color onto them. Once the lamb is evenly browned, place the shanks inside the slow cooker and make sure to turn the slow cooker on. Next, I'm going to roughly dice one large onion. Then transfer the diced onions into a hot pan with some oil and saute them over medium high heat for about five minutes or until tender. For the curry seasoning, I'm using a very simple blend of spices, cumin, coriander, garam masala, and curry powder. I'm also going to add four large garlic cloves, which I will saute with the onions a couple minutes before adding in the spices. Once the onions and garlic is tender, add the spices into the pan and give it a good mix to make sure the onions get coated and that the spices get nice and toasty and release their aroma. Add one cup of strained tomato sauce, a tablespoon of tomato paste, and one and a half cups of chicken stock. Bring the mixture up to simmer and then add it into the slow cooker on top of the lamb. Cover the slow cooker and allow the shanks to cook for at least four hours. I ended up turning the shanks over a couple of times during the cooking process. As you can see, the liquid doesn't completely cover the meat, but I didn't want to add more liquid. Eventually, the liquid will reduce and the flavors will intensify. So I ended up cooking my shanks for almost six hours and they are so tender that the meat is literally falling off the bone. The liquid has reduced and the aroma is amazing. I didn't add a lot of salt and pepper in the beginning, so at this point I'm going to give the sauce a quick taste and then adjust the seasoning. When you're ready to serve the lamb, you can plate it on top of some basmati rice or creamy mashed potatoes, add some fresh coriander leaves, and you will have an absolutely mouth-watering plate of curried lamb shank for dinner.
I love cooking boning cuts of meat because the bones add so much flavor to the recipe. The cartilage melts down into the liquid and helps to thicken the sauce. And this simple curry seasoning, it's not overwhelming. It's got mild heat and the tomato paste gives it much more depth of flavor. It's an absolutely delicious meal. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to receive more tasty recipes, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notifications bell. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next recipe.